Are you guys into denim vests? Honestly, you guys, I'm just walking around. There's not a lot of people here. Mind you, I am here around like four o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm assuming there are probably a lot of people like early on in the day. Yeah, and I'm assuming there's probably a lot of more people early on in the daytime because I am here at four o'clock. It's like not many people here, which is honestly, I think better because I can move around easier. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for anything specific. I'm just browsing. This is my first time here, so yeah. This denim. Sixty each, or maybe two for a hundred. This denim. Are you guys into denim vests? I'm not much of a denim vest person. If I were to wear a denim vest, I'd wear it as if it's like a top, more so than a vest. Oh, I like the bleached, like distressed feel. For me, I'm more of a denim person if it's like light wash. Like this darker wash I'm not a fan of. I just like like the distressed look. Oh my God, this pearl is giving me like 2013, 2014 vibes. When we used to put bedazzled pearls on denim. Oh, what is this? I don't know how they have sweaters out here. It's so hot to have sweaters out here. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, they have dresses down here. No, these dresses really aren't my vibe. I like this kind of like scrunchy waistband at the skirt. Waistline, all right. Let's keep looking, guys. Nothing's catching my eyes. Also, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as well. I wonder if this is like going through the bins. Oh you guys, this is so cool, Marvel. For any Marvel fans. I don't know, you can see it, the glare. Marvel Studios, that's actually really cool if you're like a Marvel fan. And like these vintage pieces of Iron Man and Captain America. You guys, I actually need a pair of sunglasses. You know how I love my sunglasses? I've been wearing the same pair since I've been traveling because I lost my other pair in Morocco and I really love those. I'm not seeing the greatest selection, so I'll keep on looking. Oh, okay, there's 
we'll find something here. Oh, these are interesting. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have more of these vintage frames. How cool. Harper's Bazaar, David Bowie. Oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. It would be actually cool too, you guys, to do a collage and frame a collage like this. Alright, there's some dude ones over there, but I don't want to get like blocked. I don't want this video to get banned, so I just won't put that in. But it's really cool. These are very edgy and retro. Kurt Cobain over there, Nirvana. Wow, this is really cool. New York. You guys, I think they're over here separating all the donated clothes, donations. And obviously I can't read time, but I wonder if this is like also going through the bins as well. You can see how many piles of bags of clothes they have to work through. Let me get out of the sun here. You guys, I found a section that had cropped blouses like these. I thought that was super cool. Because if you guys have been following me for a minute, you guys would know how I liked cropped tops in like blouses and I usually end up cropping mine a lot. Look at how cute. I wonder why they all crop. I wonder if this is like cute. I wonder if they have these cropped for like vests if you want to layer a vest over it just so you don't have like the full length shirt and extra fabric gathered at your waist. I wonder why that's why they have so many cropped ones here. Are these interesting. like these pieces are 20 Thai baht each. They're sale. 20 for all these necklaces. These aren't really my kind of style necklaces, but if it were me doing a DIY, I would have definitely like broke all these pearl necklaces and used them to actually stitch into some kind of a garment. But you guys can find like the best beads and stuff best beads and accessories at the thrift stores if you guys do want to do a lot of DIY instead of buying beads from like somewhere expensive like Michael's a bag of beads you can just get a bunch of cheap necklaces from the thrift store okay you guys so I'm going into the second section of the vintage market Levi jeans. I think these are actually men, but a lot of what I love about Levi's, they're like one of the few brands where you can actually wear either men or women. If you're like a girl like me, you can like wear denim jeans for guys or the girls section because they're just such a classic statement piece. You guys. Look at these, they have the dark wash and black. Look at these worn out ones. Wow. 
comment below if you love Levi jeans. So. Good stuff, good stuff. We have shoes here. All right, this is my favorite section, the blazers. I'm already seeing this gold button detail. I love gold. Um, I am in Thailand, so I wouldn't be getting like a wool blazer like this, like thick. This is so hot out here. I'm seeing fur, sweater. Look at these. suits here I know a lot of these tutu people they try to bring you to these tailor suit guys to buy a suit but you can just get a suit here for a fraction of the cost oh my god look at this look at this wow look at that red leather so dope all right we're in the leather section apparently oh my god Oh, this is like a size two. This is be tiny. This would not even fit me. But this is the vibe we're going for, you guys. If you come to this thrift market, you can find so much leather, plaid, blazers, fringe, Levi jeans. Wow. All right. The trousers, khakis. The vintage tees, you guys. It looks like they're selling them for 100 baht, which is around 3 USD for people back home. $3 for a t-shirt, not bad. Not bad. I'm trying to see more and more people as I keep on walking throughout the market, like deeper and deeper in this section. So that tells me it's probably really great stuff. They have like little shirts that are like those racetrack looking shirts. Wow, it's cute. Okay, so it looks like they have some hair accessories, either 20 baht each or three for 50 baht. Not bad. Oh, they have a fanny pack. with like black trousers and like this short cropped waistcoat in the front with a long train in the back that's dope 
They're super dope. You guys, this goes for so, so long. pink numbers caught my eye. It almost looks like somebody sewed it by hand. I like the little crafty stuff like that. You guys, more vintage teas, Biggie. go through these piles and anything from these piles that I bought apparently. These hats. And you guys, I think she has some pretty decent hats. And they have a bin. <laughs> Just so you guys can get an idea. Is this a signature? An autograph? Hmm. Cute outfit. Like just for being around the house. Or maybe on a vacation. More sport jersey. Looking. I think there's so many t-shirts. You can get an abundance of t-shirts. I just like this little bleached print. Okay, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have gotten an experience from this, and I hope you guys have learned about this flea market. If you guys are down in Bangkok, Thailand, I highly recommend you guys to come and check this flea market out. And again, I'll leave it in the description below for you guys to check it out, since I do not know how to pronounce it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!